Just hours after the U.S. President Donald Trump announced that the highly anticipated meeting with the DPRK leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore is back on track, U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis told a room that withdrawing or reducing military presence in the Korean Peninsula is not an option for now. Any discussion about the number of U.S. troops in the Republic of Korea is subject to, one, uh, the Republic of Korea's invitation to have them there and the discussions between the United States and the Republic of Korea, separate and distinct from the negotiations that are going on with DPRK. Mm -hmm. they have, they, those, that issue will not come up in the discussions with DPRK. And as you all recognize, those troops are there as a recognition of a security challenge. The U.S. military presence is not limited to the Korean Peninsula. Further down to the hotly disputed islands in the South China Sea, the U.S. issued a stern statement criticizing China for what it deems as the militarization of the area. China's militarization of artificial features in the South China Sea includes the deployment of anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missiles, electronic jammers, and more recently, the landing of bomber aircraft at Woody Island. Despite China's claims to the contrary, the placement of these weapon systems is tied directly to military use for the purposes of intimidation and coercion. Responding to Mattis' hardline talks, the Chinese delegates immediately lashed out at the irresponsible comments. The garrison and deployment of weapons in the reefs and islands in the South China Sea are within the scope of China's sovereignty. It's allowed by international law. Irresponsible talks by any other country are interference in China's internal affairs. Observers say the South China Sea had not been a strategic rivalry issue until the United States decided to take that as a tool to spearhead China. I think what Mattis' mistake is uh, express this American attitude when the United States is, is the only country sitting in the continent surrounded by two major oceans, which means their geopolitical situation is completely safe, even without fighting a war. Then, with sitting on that position to berate other players in the world, other regional players in the world, for thinking geopolitically even thinking of a sphere of influence. Uh, that is very Hippocratic uh, attitude. The Chinese foreign spokesperson responded to the U.S. accusation by saying that the U.S. is a robber playing a cop. The U.S. military presence in the South China Sea is greater than that of China and other countries around the seas combined. Miralu, CGTN, Singapore.